Hello everyone, welcome again. In this tutorial, we are going to try to model this sketch or design you see in the image. We are not going to have any blueprints or something like that, so we are going to kind of improvise. This kind of shapes without blueprints are always challenging to model, so they are really good materials for practicing your modeling skills. Also, the challenges has started again in our Discord channel. If you want to test your modeling skills and participate in these challenges, you can join our Discord group. You are going to find the link in the description. So let's get into it. I will start with a cube. Let's scale the Y. I will turn on the wireframes. I will add in a subdivision surface. Go back to cube. Increase the segments. I believe we are going to need more for the Z to make the edges sharper. Like that. This is going to be enough. Let's make this one editable. It looks like the top and bottom part is supposed to be flatter than what we have if you check the image. So I will need supporting edges. So I'm going to add these two loop cuts. I will also select subdivision surface and change the subdivision editor number to 1. Because lower is always better when you are working the subdivision surface workflow, which means that uh, check the side parts, they are too corroded. So let's select these middle edges and simply dissolve them. Alright, for the starting point, the base mesh is looking nice. We can apply this subdivision surface generator. I will add an FFT so that I can select these and scale them on the z-axis. Yeah, something like that should be enough. I'm going to make the FFD deformer editable. Now it's time to add the cylinder in. Change the orientation, scale and rotate it. By the way, I am trying to match the center edges of the cylinder right over here, which will make our job easier when we start to merge the points. Okay, let's say that this is the shape you want. I will go to the cylinder and change some settings. For example, rotation segments are too high right now. We are going to connect these two objects, which means that we need to connect the points. So I'm going to change my rotation segments to let's say 8 as you can see it's going to be much easier for us to connect the points if you check out the vertical lines for the height segments you can just get rid of them all uh, the bottom part of the cylinder is sticking out so let's go to the front view first i'm going to make this one editable points mode i will select the line cut tool and turn off visible only so i can delete the parts that I cannot see in the front view. Delete these parts, sorry, not these. Then I need to close that hole yes, because we are going to use a boolean. After that, yes, I want this body wants to be perfectly flat in the right coordinates, something like that. But if I do it like that, I am gonna lose the asymmetrical shape. I know it is a subtle thing, but uh, I want to show you the right way. I will select normal back, move them on the Z, grab line cut tool one more time, cut right around here. Then delete these points. I will scale this in, then collapse them. Perfect. Now we are ready to add a boolean. Select the subdivision surface object. And actually, I need to change this name, it might be confusing. Then I will add a bool, then put the cylinder under the base. Select bool, change its boolean type to union. That's all. Uh, I will enable the create single object option as well, so that when I make the boolean editable, it's going to give me a single mesh. Perfect. Now let's grab polygon pen tool and start to clean the mesh. 
For example, I can slide this one over here and slide here. Select the poly polygon pen tool one more time. You may ask why didn't you use polygon pen tool to move that point? Well, most of the time, if you try to move the points or the edges of an object, you are going to probably move it to somewhere unwanted, just like this one. So try to use slide tool whenever you want to move the points. You can merge this element over here. I'm going to grab back the polygon pen tool and connect, create that edge. Then we can connect this and get rid of that one. And this one. Actually, while we are here, let me select these center edges. Make a full selection and delete them. Add in a symmetry in, change the middle plane, and select this one and select polygon pan back. I'm gonna slide this one over here. As you can see, we have a triangle over here. Let's try to get rid of it. I'm gonna connect over here and delete this one, which will create another triangle, but you can create any path starting from this triangle, then slide this in. Now we have a perfect topology except this part the triangle so i will create a new cut on an edge then connect this actually before doing that i need to connect that one first now i'm gonna hit these two edges then connect this one grab slide tool back and slide this now we can get rid of that edge now every polygon is going to be quad. Now we need to, of course, clean these parts. I'm going to start to merge the, merge the points. Another triangle. Let's add that edge in. Then we need to get rid of that edge because it's going to Break the disk shape. So this one width. I'm gonna select them, change my offset for the X to 100 percent so I can scale them from the center. Then extrude. Of course, it's gonna leave this center point polygons and that leftover edge. Just delete it. So we can delete these ones. I'm gonna select these only and use equal spacing tool. Okay, now let's see what we have if I add a subdivision surface. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's say that you want to make these edges sharper, so just select these edges and slide them like that. Of course, you need to change your offset mode to proportional. All right, then of course this one. Now it is time to add these little details. I'm not gonna model them completely, but I will give you an overall idea how to model them. First thing, of course, if you want to model them with that polygon count, it's not gonna be much possible. We can force it, but if we push it too much, I believe it's gonna create pinching and imperfections on the surface. So we need to subdivide our mesh. As I did at the very beginning, I'm gonna set this to one. Otherwise two is gonna be too much. One will be okay. Then I'm gonna make this editable. Select mesh, select polygons you want to put a hole for example these ones i believe or around here let's see i'm gonna make an inset then right click select fit circle tool i will enable the wrong tool fit circle i will enable project to surface let's make something like that then for the little ones let's select this another inset 
then circle tool. The reason that I am making uh, it sets because if you just select the polygons and try to use fit circle tool, this is what's going to happen. So most of the time you want to make inset to get these new edges, then use fit circle on these ones. I'm going to select them. Not control, actually. I should be in road coordinates. These are going to need sporting edges. We can move these points from each other and another new solder the surface. Looking great. Of course, we can add loop cuts. Perfect. Let's say that this part is a little tighter than what you desire. To make this part specifically softer, or smoother, you can add smoothing deformer. Of course, it's gonna try to soften everything out. So we need to kind of give an offset. So let's go to the fields in the spherical field. I'm gonna scale it down and put it right on here. I'm gonna change the fall off. Now let's see what we have if we turn on and off the effect, uh, the deformer. Yeah, exactly. That might be too much. Can okay, lower it to 50 percent maybe. Okay, I'm gonna apply this deformer. Now let's try to get these panel cuts or panel loops. Uh, I don't exactly remember the name. Uh, let's see, it looks like we are supposed to select these edges. I'm going to slide them by holding control, loop selection, inset, I will push this in with Q. This is going to be too soft of course, which means we are going to need supporting edges this and this one perfect all right everyone that was it from me i hope you learned something new i know that it is not exactly the same shape but i try to give the basic ideas behind creating these details so again i hope you find it useful and learn something new if you like the tutorial remember to like the video it helps the channel a lot so if you have any questions Ask them or you can join the Discord channel. You can find the link in the description. And I will see you in the next videos. Bye.